Welcome back to Craven Cars. My name is Corey, and it was here. World of Wheels 2019. This year's season of cars turned out to be pretty damn good. Cue the intro. And here we are at the Kansas City World of Wheels. I've got a couple of the usuals. Well, no, he ain't usual. He don't show up. Steven <laughs> or show pony, and of course. Um, that guy right there. You guys know him too. And, and that guy. And this guy. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hey, what's up? Hello. All right. Phil? What a great day. Right on. What a great yeah, day. we're going to have a good time here at the show. Uh, this is a very overwhelming show. Yeah. And we're overwhelmed and we're going to be overwhelmed at the show. We're going to enjoy the show today. It's just going to be a blast. Of course, um, uh, you guys might uh, remember seeing him before too. As I caught him in the middle of eating. Steve, want to say hi? Hello. He brought his car in today. It's over there, Oldsmobile 442. It is pretty kick butt. You might have saw that in a previous video of me wiping it down because it was wet. And uh, I got forced into it. No, you weren't forced into it. Oh, he was forced. You just needed something to do? You didn't see it, but it, it was forced. Oh, okay. He had a gun. He had a gun. He's in. This show is one of the more overwhelming shows I've ever been to. Uh, I, it's just going to be so hard to really show. I, I would wish I could show every single car in great detail, but I just I can't. Uh, but that's not going to stop us from giving it all we got. All right, we're here. We're going to show you the ins and the outs of the show. Let's ins do a walkthrough. And uh, we might even try to see um, if you guys down below, if you want to pick maybe a couple of your favorite rides that you saw throughout the walkthrough. Or maybe even let us know what you feel like the most photographed car would have been. I can't seem to pick that, oh, so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. That'd be a tough one, wouldn't it? Because oh, it ain't necessarily God, your favorite so car. So much custom stuff here. I mean, how can you do that? Anybody? It's 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 true. There's so much you can do with that. We're gonna throw a lot in there today. Yeah. In this show, and yeah. um, it's gonna be everywhere. It's this is gonna top. be epic. Yeah. There's everything. I mean, everything's built from the soul. This here. is. It's just so I'm gonna hooked up in every way. I'm gonna take it from Phil. Well, we do got a uh, special guest here today. I uh, want to introduce you to uh, uh, Mr. Poole. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Poole? That's the one. Uh, that's the one. Stephen took to school, right? Yeah, that's one you drove. The short bus.
I'm predominantly more of a, a car guy, uh, but I, d I do like trucks. Not not to the extent where I like cars. Uh, classic trucks, I can like some of them almost as, as good as like cars. I mean, the, the looks are just uh, phenomenal. But, you know, one of the other things that I actually do like about that uh, is restoring them is when they restore with the wood beds in them. And then you can see all the wood grain and the different colors. Uh, it's, I, I don't know why that is, but that's favorite parts about the classic trucks. Another cool thing about cars is seeing the progression of them being restored or modified. And uh, they definitely had a, a good selection of things like that. You can see them being restored and, and modified and, and where they're at in the process. And that's always really kind of cool to see. But they also had a few there, uh, some older cars showing their age a bit. Let's take a look. Of course, some of the reason that a show like this can actually uh, go on, besides the fact of, I mean, people pay their price to uh, be entered in the show, and of course, all the people attending the show. And thank you for all those people who did that, because you know you're part of what makes a show like this go on and and to be made possible. But another thing is, is you can't forget the vendors. Uh, there's some local uh, racing scenery and stuff uh, that was there. A lot of different vendors that were there, and well, here they are. So much that, to be honest, I might have to split this up into a two-part video. 
picking a favorite though, that is where it gets really tough. And a lot of people would come up to me, so what was your favorite card to show? I, I couldn't pick. I would like you guys to give it a chance. But, but what I did is I took a whole bunch of them, I threw them in a hat, and here's some of the ones I drew.
will get to actually get, take one of these out one day, but this is the Acura NSX. Um, I got uh, lucky enough for the owner to actually let me be able to sit to kind of feel, and to be honest, it's, it's, it's snug. I'm 6'2", it's, it's snug. Um, but not, not too snug to be undrivable. So, all right, we'll work on getting that out. Um, and we, we definitely need to get in one of these and take it on the road. All right, so we got an extra special, uh, different kind of truck uh, to bring you. And then to introduce yourself. My name is Jesse Coburn. I own a 84 Chevy C10. Um, it's been about six years in the making, and uh, this is what we came out with. My dad and I have uh, came up with an idea, and several vendors have helped us. Larson Race Cars, TKF Industries, uh, Precision Turbos, M&M Transmissions. Um, several vendors have helped us. Casey Max Performance out of Kansas City here in town have wired it. Um, it's just been a a dream come true for us and uh, hoping to experience it for sure. Okay, now can you, within less than a minute's worth, like 30 seconds worth, tell me what kind of engine you got, what kind of power output you got, what like what's the setup? I saw the car carbon fiber inlay into the, into the side, like yeah. the paint, that was very wicked. Yeah. So I saw that, but now like, now let's talk power plant though, what do we got going okay, on? Okay, so uh, motor is a turbo, or a factory bore stroke Patterson racing engine, it's a Small block 400, AFR headed deal, um, spread port. Makes about 2,000 horsepower to the tire. Uh, pair of 76, 75 turbos from Precision. Um, Wilson manifolds. Um, he just said 2,000 horsepower. Just, just to make sure you didn't catch that. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, PTC converters, uh, spec this out a converter for it, torque converter. M&M transmission, built the transmission, it's a one-off deal. It's got a uh, pro mod so gear vendor. So don't break it, in other words. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Truck's heavy, it's 3,800 pounds with me in it, it's all okay. steel. Um, that's still, I mean, that's not, come on, there's supercars that weigh that now. Right, yeah. You know, so that's not technically heavy nowadays, although it's, it's heavy to me, but it's not heavy compared to like, I mean, you got more horsepower than a Bugatti, yeah. Veyron, and that thing weighs 3,500 pounds. Right. I don't know if I'll run into one of those, but I hope I do. I mean, okay. there's just All right. there's a lot of detail. Well, appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. I also want to give a little shout out and a thank you to someone who, uh, who helped me get into the show this year. Uh, some of you guys may already know him, and uh, he did actually bring a couple of his own cars. Let's check them out. All right. Now, we're here with... Um, uh, interesting uh, uh, pair of cars here, but it's it's more of the owner um, who I'd like to thank uh, very much uh, for helping me actually into the show today. And go ahead and introduce yourself for everybody. Hey guys, Justin Keith, uh, co-owner of Streetcar Takeover, and uh, out here at World of Wheels, Kansas City. We've got the Camaro and the Mustang out here on display. It's been a pretty good show so far. It really has been. Yeah. So what's the biggest thing you've done to these cars? Uh, so. The, both cars have Pro Charger kits on them. They're really simple combos. The Camaro's got an F1A94 race kit on it, air to water kit, all Pro Charger stuff. It's got a cam in it, exhaust, makes just under a thousand wheel horsepower with an automatic 10 speed. And the Mustang's got a P1X kit on it, uh, fuel system and headers. Other than that, completely stock, it just made right under a thousand horsepower on it, too. So, two impressive cars. It's amazing how close they are, actually. Yeah, yeah uh, it, really it really is. They're almost like, I call them stepbrothers because. They're literally like almost the same. They have the same wheels. They make within 10 horsepower of each other. They're both white, so. Yeah, yeah. and kind of both ends of the uh, the big muscle car yeah. spectrum, really. Exactly. Between Ford and Chevy here. Exactly. The big rivals we got. Rivals. So now, boom, streetcar takeover. We got the kickoff party coming up. When's that? So the kickoff party's gonna be April 6th uh, at Arrowhead. It's a Saturday. Uh, if it rains that day, we'll have it on Sunday, April 7th. But we're gonna have a bunch of stuff we got bunch of uh, car celebrities going to be there of course thousands of cars we'll have a live we'll have a concert going on we got a stage we're gonna have tons of vendors food vendors uh, it's easily probably one of the biggest single day car shows in the whole United States right here in Kansas City and I do not disagree with that at all yeah <laughs> Justin I really appreciate you yeah, I really do and for appreciate everything it. you do with street car takeover yeah. and um, and everybody else awesome so, man appreciate yeah, appreciate it, man. It. yeah all thank right. you. okay let's see some more of the show 
Uh, got a little bit to finish this up. Uh, now at the beginning of this one though, I'm going to put a few that stood out in the engine bay. Like so much that you look at these cars and be like, oh, oh, oh what the fuck? Uh, there's a show I definitely rec recommend you going to at some point uh, in the next couple months. When it, I think it's in April. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, it's put on by, um, hosted. Um, what is that show? Steven, what is that show? I don't know. It's put on by Justin Keith. I can't remember the, the name for it. But mm. I, I, I might say on his car behind us. Um, but I'm not for sure. The, the three? It's, it's the three show. No, no. It says three on the hood. It's got to be the one. I don't know what else on there then. That would be it. Yeah, if you can find out, you should go. It's a good show.
Well, I tell you what, there is so much in this show to cover, it's just not real possible to get the whole thing. But with our two uh, convicts that we brought along with us today. Convicts. Convicts. Hey. No Whatever. Okay, so a couple things that, that uh, about the show, I don't know, stood out the most. Sure. Yeah. What did you like best? A couple things. Original Shelby KR down here tonight. Okay, How often very you cool. see the original, true, legit. And that was a, what, 1960 what? Seven or eight. Six, seven or eight, okay. So and you'll, you'll see that right no here. No clone, no tribute. It's the real deal. Yeah, the real deal. It was the GT 500 KR, isn't yes. that right? Yep. So that was very cool. What else? A lot of rest of mods. Now, all right, Phil. Now, what about you? What, what about what? What couple stuff stood out the most for you? Probably the Toyota Supra, and uh, there's a Datsun 240Z, but it, it was LS swapped. See, so, you I saw mean, you, you said that car looked it. sweet, and then you looked at the engine, and went, oh. Yeah, man, yeah, same thing. It's, it's so, tastefully, tastefully done. Tastefully done. Tastefully done. Anything else you want to add? Uh, this is my first year here, and I want to say I am. Virgin. Yeah, I was really, really impressed with it. I mean, um, I, I was actually thinking that it wasn't going to be this fancy, and I want to say I enjoyed this a little bit better than the auto show. I mean, you know, because, it, you get the auto show, you get minivans, you get trucks. The auto show is all brand new stuff. This is all about, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's all, all about different nature. Auto show stuff, is right? new cars. This is right. custom built stuff. Custom built total, stuff, man, from different. the heart, from the soul. You know what total I mean? Creature. Well, this is uh, this is my third time at this show. How about you? You've been here. Yeah. Uh, we did pop uh, Phil's cherry at the World of Wheels, <laughs> so congratulations, high five for yeah. cherry popped and for another successful we will be back World of year. Wheels. This is Craven Cars bringing you the best that we can in Kansas City. All right, that's all we have for the coverage of the 2019 World of Wheels show downtown Kansas City at Bartle Hall. I know it was a lot to cover, but boy, it sure was fun. I appreciate everybody who stuck around this long to watch the video all the way to the end. Uh, thank you for everybody uh, who entered into the show and who bought their tickets to attend the show. Thanks again to Justin uh, to Streetcar Takeover. And please go check Streetcar Takeover. If you've never been there, it is a ridiculous show. It's another one of these very overwhelming uh, deals to attend that I will be there and I will have my camera and we will definitely be getting some video of that event. Thank you for everybody else uh, sponsoring, organizing the world of wheels because it is a fantastic show it truly is i've been thinking that uh, maybe next year craven cars will do its own awards for shows quite like this leave a comment below let me know what you think about that like i said thank you guys for sticking around please like share and subscribe if you haven't done that already thanks for watching and good night and remember all you cravers out there keep craving keep craving Wow. All right. Woo when you come here for the first time, your mind. <laughs> Guess who my number one fan and supporter is? I will give you a slight hint. Oh, look at this one right there. That person right here. <laughs> Her. So could you guess it? Love you. Love you. I'm gonna, See you later. I'm gonna cut the love you part out, but I now have a bloopers to put at the end of the reel. Thanks for interrupting my video. Yeah. Thank you all for sticking around this long. This is a lot to cover, truly just overwhelming. 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 It's, it's a very very overwhelming show. It doesn't get any less overwhelming. Wow. Whew. That's all we got. Let's get out of this place.